last year, there was a big study that looked at different proteins, different meats, and which had more microplastics than others. So which one do you think had more plastic in it? Was it the tofu, the chicken nuggets, or the breaded shrimp? Your food will get plastic in three different ways, right? First is how the food is grown. Second is how that food is processed. And third is how that food is packaged. When food is grown, plastic will be put into it because they use things like sewage sludge that has PFAS, the toxic forever chemical, or they're not filtering their water when they're grown with it, or literally they will be grown in plastic. You see this with like plastic mulches. Processing and the production of food has shown to be the step that adds the most amount of microplastics and chemicals from that plastic into your food. And that is because every single surface that that food touches has to be sanitized or processed with plastic in some way, from the vinyl gloves to like all of the plastic surfaces, right? Even to the sanitizing liquids. Oh, and they spray everything with PFAS in order to ensure that the machines don't get jammed up. A lot of your food might have PFAS, the toxic forever chemical that's like directly linked to cancer in a shorter lifespan, literally because of the machines that it went through. All plastic is toxic. And every time your food touches plastic, it gets a little bit of that plastic and all the chemicals that it brings in with it. And so it's been shown in now many studies that the more processed a food is, the more plastic and chemicals from that plastic that will be in it. For example, last year, there was a big study that looked at different proteins, different meats, and which had more microplastics than others. Which one do you think had more plastic in it? Was it the tofu, the chicken nuggets, or the breaded shrimp? Oh, that's right, it was the breaded shrimp. Ultimately, this has been shown in so many different studies that the more your food is processed, the more plastic it has. Lastly comes the packaging. So packaging does put plastic into the food as well. However, not every package will put lots of plastic into that food. There's lots of things that will increase the amount of plastic migrating from that packaging into the food that you end up eating, right? A lot of that has to do with heat and time in that package, whether it's vacuum sealed or like the fat content of that food. There are certain things, just so you know, that are actually pasteurized or cooked in that package before you even get it. And you probably didn't even know. Baby food pouches, those are pasteurized in the plastic, which is why baby food pouches show to have lots of chemicals from that packaging and microplastics in that final baby food pouch. The same thing would also go for tuna fish pouches. Ultimately, at the end of the day, it has been shown over and over again that the amount of processing that your food has directly correlates the amount of microplastics and chemicals from that plastic that end up in your food, which you end up eating.